Well, hello kids. I've been asked to tell some stupid range stories. Now, I've been working on the range as an instructor, as a student, for at least 30 plus years now, and I've seen several things that we would dub stupid. But before I get into it, I've got my pipe here. If you'll allow me, I'll go ahead and light my pipe, and we'll get right into stupid range stories. All right, stupid range story number one. Well, I suppose the first story that I would like to relate was a sunny Sunday afternoon on a public range. I was there with my sons. We were down on the far end of the range doing our thing, and there were a bunch of other people there. It was a, it was a public range. Well, it was a member's range, and so that's kind of like a public range. Two gentlemen showed up, and, and they were standing very near to where we were and obviously the one guy had a new gun or a gun that he was very proud of because he kept looking at it and then he showed it to his friend he handed it to his friend and he handed it back and he was looking at it and then they got out their ammunition and and they had a, a target i don't know 10 yards down range like i said it was a sunny sunday afternoon it was a 1911 pistol and the gentleman he pushed it out and I was standing off to the side, wasn't doing anything at the time. The gentleman pushed it out, and then he kind of looked over it, and then he kind of pulled it back, and then he pushed it out again and looked over it. Then he pulled the gun back, and ladies and gentlemen, he did this because he had a 45 ACP pistol with a Crimson Trace laser grip on it. That's right, the red laser. Now that great big yellow thing up in the sky overpowered that red laser. So when our, uh, our hero, when our hero pushed the gun out, he couldn't see that red dot, wasn't even sure if it was working. So he thought, hmm, in the moment, I'll pull the gun back, point it at my hand. Keep in mind that he had just finished loading the gun racked around into the slide and was ready to shoot. I saw that and I ran for my medical kit. Fortunately, I didn't have to use it. Now what our hero had forgotten about was when these pistol manufacturers, when they make handguns, they put things, I know some of them have lasers on them and lasers are fun and we like lasers, but they put these things on the top of the side, the slide so that when the sun's bright, you can use them to hit your target. Those things, ladies and gentlemen, are called sights. So, the moral of our story is this. If you have a red or even a green laser, but the sun is very, very bright outside, instead of worrying about the laser dot, just use those things that the manufacturer put on top of the gun. They're called sights. They can help you hit your target. <laughs> 